going to be filling up some brake fluid. We got the dot four synthetic brake fluid for the E39 528i BMW. So your master cylinder is under this component. The first thing you want to do, pull all this crap off. There's your, uh, your fan for the air coolant and whatnot. I also, I've already pulled this off. Weather protector, just pull that off a little bit. Put it to the side. And then there's this little clamp that you want to pull off here. It's actually extremely hard to get off for me. If you can see right there, you, you got to pinch it together, pull up and pull out. So, because it's connected back there. And then you want to take this off here as well. There's a little clamp down here that I can't get to with one hand. So I'm going to have to stop it. There's a little clamp right there. So I'm going to have to stop the video. Maybe go get my tripod and then bring it back. I took off all this stuff that you saw earlier. This little piece, if you're wondering what this is, this goes up in here. So you just, it just slides in just like that. And it's connected to this, uh, this part here when you connect it. I didn't remove this wire here because I actually, to be honest with you, didn't know how to fix it if I undo it. I'm just gonna grab this, pull that off. I got the vacuum because there's all kinds of dirty shit in here. The end down there that I'm gonna see right there if I can get out. But what we're doing here is here's the brake fluid. And if you see, whoops, sorry. If you see that line there, that's your minimum line. Let me, right there. That's the minimum line. That's the, the maximum line is right here. If you're below that line, you need brake fluid. I am right, I don't think I have any brake fluid to be honest. Okay, I have a little bit. Um, I'm right here, that's where I am. And that's the minimum. So, you see? See where that is? So I definitely need brake fluid. So let's put some of that. We got my dot four synthetic. You need synthetic for BMWs. You cannot put non-synthetic in there. Always make sure you have synthetic. And I'm only one-handed, so I'm actually gonna end the recording really fast. Right, so I got it filled up. We're good there. Just to see. You see, wiggle it. There it is. The line's here, and the max is here. So we're just on the max. So perfect. Put that in, and then you just want to put everything back the way it was, and make sure it is back exactly how it was. Now this is really hard to get back in because you got to fight with it. So, and I. No, I had it the right way. Yeah. So you want to connect this part with that part in there and that's that's for water if anything gets in the car that's a water leak right there so i'm just gonna work my way getting this back in there we go and then make sure it connects up there it pops in up here with these little locks push it down there we go then you want to clamp it back here and then you want to put the piece that was here back and then that piece is missing, so you want to grab this, put this back, right, just like, just like that, come on, there we go, just like that, this one, oh, make sure we don't forget the clamp there, this only goes in one way, like this, so you just push that down, there we go, Take this, this only goes one way, like this, the clamp's back there, and lock it in place, lock it in place, there we go, there we go, that's on, that's on, where's that clamp at, take this clamp, I want to squeeze it, uh, this is going to be a bitch to get back on, eh? Right, so I'm not going to be able to get this on with one hand, so I'm going to have to end the recording. Put everything on there. I'm going to take this, put 
this back on. Oh shit. I know you can't see me. There we go. Make sure that's on all the way. <clears throat> and then you want to take, oh I put it here. Now make sure this is in with all the parts there. So it goes in, this piece here connects back there. So make sure that's in all the way. Make sure that's pressed up against everything and then you latch it. So just like that, but then you latch it. And the latch is here, which mine is broken, which sucks. But, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this real fast because I can do it with one hand and then I'll pick it up. hella hot so I'm not closing the door. You guys want to see something weird? Okay, so I plug in the keys, right? Turn it on. You see this? So this is indicating that I have a light out, but um, it's not true and I was looking through it because I don't know if anybody's seen this. What it is, is there's a short in the fuse box for the light, the left back light, and it's giving me the indication that I need to fix a light bulb. But I did everything, I plugged in the computer, and if you don't know what I mean by that, every car after 96 or something like that has a spot right there for the BMW, it's right down there, that you plug in a computer. My engine is checking green, there's nothing wrong, and that reset, because what, what happens is if you drive, um, for 15 minutes or let it sit for 15 minutes or something like that you can reset the computer in the car and it reset and that went away but then it came again so that sucks for me um i don't know if i've shown you guys around the car so let's do that that i just wanted to point that out for anybody that wanted to know why art uh would tell me to fix that that is fixed i have a lot of miles on the car unfortunately it's this car is a BMW E39 528i Denan. Um, there's a new radio installed. It's the Enon. It makes cool noises. Ready? Oh, come on. See? It's Bluetooth. Everything. It's got navigation. Uh, everything else is stock. It's automatic, unfortunately. Um, so, yeah. You know. BMW you can't just pull in the uh, the stick and go back. You have to press the brake. I actually have no shoes on, so don't make fun of me. Uh, if anybody wants to know why my e-brake's not on and I'm not on a hill, always put your e-brake up so people can't steal your car. But yeah, this this is coming off unfortunately, so I got to get a thing. And these two front seats here and the one I'm sitting on are messed up, so I have to go to the store probably right now actually and go pick up a uh, pick up two seat covers. I think they're gonna be just uh, red and black ones, simple enough. And then I'll install that in this video if I do do that. And then, so if you guys wanna hear the car purr real fast, I'm gonna rev it like two or three times. So I'll do one rev, one full rev, and I have no, um, no shoes on, I keep saying that. So, ew, here's one full rev. So what, I, what I'm doing when I rev it is because I just put in the brake, uh, yeah, the brake fluid. So I'm seeing if my brake is heavy and it still is a little bit heavy, but then again, this is BMW. And it, when you, when you rev it, you can really feel if it's heavy because the car, you know, thinks you're going fast. So rev it. And pull on the brake and you can feel how heavy it is. And mine is still pretty damn heavy, which means the brake fluid wasn't the issue. There's another issue that I have to fix. Uh, I have to go get my brakes checked. I can probably do that myself, but I don't know. Because it's BMW, so if you go to any shop, they charge you $200,000 just for one simple thing. But yeah, with that being said, you've seen my car. Let me show you the outside real fast. Okay, so here's the outside. There we go. Brands installed. That's the outside. What's up, Jordan? 
But alrighty, with that being said, let me turn the car off. But look at that money. That money though, son. And get ready to leave.